Hello, and welcome to the tutorial about manipulating a table. Let's start with selecting columns and rows. To do that, you simply have to click on the letter of the column or the number of the row. This means that any edit you make will affect the entire column. Go ahead and undo. There are a couple ways to select the entire spreadsheet. One quick way is Control A. Another way is to click on the square at the top left. And let's say we'd like to change the font size to 14. As you can see, not all the text fits. And of course, we'd like to widen the column to make everything fit. And you can even do this to multiple columns at once making them all uniform or fit perfectly. Sometimes with your table, you'd like to add a new row or column. If we wanted to add a new employee somewhere, you can insert one row above or below, or maybe we'd like to insert a new column. Let's call this column Date Hired. A little bit of spreadsheet magic. Ba ding! Now the dates have been populated. If we'd like to change the formatting for the dates, we choose More Formats and Date, which will put the month, the day, and the year. The next thing we're going to look at is copying and pasting. Let's say we have some text here that we would actually like to move from A10, cell A10, over to F2. Of course, you can click on the Edit button, Copy. There's also Control C as a quick key and Control V to paste. Or if you'd rather cut and paste, Control X will cut and it will leave it. Though it won't look like it's disappearing right away. As you can see, there's a small box around, Control X and Control V to paste it somewhere else. Another way to cut and paste is to keep your cursor over the top left of a cell and it'll turn into a little grabby hand. When you click and drag it somewhere else, it will bring the whole thing with it. If you wanted to switch two cells, so for example, let's say Rachel's salary switched with Daniel Hardman's. If you cut from one spot and paste it somewhere else, it will overwrite what was there. And then you might forget what was there if you wanted to switch it back. So one way is to first cut and paste something to a new cell and then move the cells around from there. Finally, let's look at text wrapping. The default is for text to be typed and it overflows from one cell to the next. But if you type something in the cell beside it, then you can't see anything. One way to make it so that you can see the text is by wrapping it, which makes it so that you can see all the text. If we widen this a little bit, 